Approximately one day ago, Derek of Veritasium fame released a video called The Riddle That Seems Impossible Even If You Know The Answer, and it referenced an old video of mine, The Unbelievable Solution to the 100 Prisoner Puzzle. And I um, don't think I'm exaggerating when I say every single human and their dog saw that video and then decided to share it with me, which was um, very nice. And so I learned very quickly that I had been derecked. Um, do you know what, a couple of times um, with Veritasium where I've been working on a video oh, and then Derek, I got Derek. I Derek you once, didn't I? You, uh, you Derek me with the levitating table on chains. Whenever I've been Derek, he's been very kind. He <laughs> shows up in the comments and pretends he cares. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. Actually, technically, I've been reverse Derek. Let me just give Steve Mould a call uh, and give him this latest development in the world of being Derek if he answers. This is what I'm seeing, but I've um, blurred Steve's. Hey, there he is! <laughs> Guess what? I am. What's up? I've been, I've been reverse Derek. <laughs> oh, what's Derek done this time? So, hang on, let me... That sounds good. That's a good thing, though. You would think that's a good thing. So, Derek is when you're working on a video, and then Veritasium puts one out before you get a chance. And then yeah. we, we later do a video where we point out an additional thing or a correction or something from Derek's video. Oh, um, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got reverse Derek. So I had an old video and Derek has now put out a video based on that video pointing out uh, a mistake I made. Oh, I see. So, so Derek got matted. Derek got, uh, yeah, I, I don't think that's going to catch on. I think, no. not, not that the reverse Derek is a great name. Um, anyway, I thought I'd let you know this breaking development in the field of being Derek. Um, okay, well, that's good to know. Yeah. It's, it's good to know the nuance. <laughs> hey, it's only a matter of time. We all get reverse Derek eventually. Well, I apologize. Um, apologize for interrupting your work-life balance. We'll, uh... <laughs> all right, well, uh, let me know how the rest of the reverse Derek I will. I'll, I'll give you a full, a full debrief. Good luck with it. <laughs> Thanks. See you, mate. Okay. Bye. And Steve is gone. So, yeah. So a Derricking is when Derek beats you to the punch. And now I've been reverse Derek. Let me explain exactly what happened. Derek starts the video, references that I made a video on the same topic previously, later on calls me a friend, and that's it. That's the whole story. Thanks for watching. Nah, nah, it's not. Derek pointed out, I made a mistake. Now, what happens if you increase the number of prisoners? Fun fact, nobody knows if, as you have more and more prisoners, it's going towards a limit, or if it'll eventually go down to zero, or what? That, that is my friend Matt Parker. And I think what he meant to say is we know exactly what happens as you increase the number of prisoners. With a thousand prisoners? Now I'm not going to go through all the details and mathematics of the original 100 prisoner puzzle. I mean, there's already N plus one videos on the topic. And besides, that's our main channel thing, explaining maths. This is the second channel. And here, we play it a bit more loose. And I just wanted to make a video saying, just putting my hands up and saying, Derek is absolutely correct. I did make a mistake in that old video, which he correctly noticed, and Derek's maths in the new video is spot on. So I actually went through everything he did. It all checks out. I got a friend of mine, a mathematician, Matthew Scroggs, to go through it as well, in case I was being biased. And yeah, it all checks out. It's so I just put my hands up and say, Derek, uh, the video is uh, spot on, very nice. You will see a few people complaining about things like the generalization for the probability of the loop sizes doesn't work for loops which are below half the size of the number of prisoners. And while that's true, uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, uh, Derek was just a little bit loose with the language, but with the mass you see on screen, uh, all checks out because the proof only needs to go from chains that are longer than a half up, because uh, they're only the ones that fail. Again, maths, it's in the other videos. And there's some weirdness with the limits here, but everything cancels out and you get the correct answer. So the proof is great, in my opinion. It's as good as or better than, to be honest, anything I've ever brought to the internet. It's also made me re-reflect on why I said that in the old video, because at the time it was pointed out in the comments, right? So I already got dragged 
through the mathematical calls calculations to say, Matt, you got this wrong. And I was like, excellent. That's the worst that's ever going to happen on this video. Um, it's not like three years from now, someone's going to make a video that's going to get millions of views pointing out my mistake. Although Derek was kind enough to link to my video and his video is on millions of views. And so obviously the people are going to go watch my video that's linked below and see that's just one tiny, tiny bit from the end of the video and all the other wonderful maths I have across the video. <laughs> Because it was just one afterthought at the end of the video and we were again we were thinking why do we put that in and the best we can I mean the short answer is I should have double checked I should have done the maths I shouldn't have just come across something in discussion on the day and chucked it in the video without doing my due diligence my fault I'm very sorry uh, which is why I'm not making the correction video um, but what we think happened was we had some older literature on the problem and in the papers it would say something like it is not proven that this is the optimal solution so I think we misremembered that but even then 2006, we found the paper here. This is by Eugene Curtin and Max uh, Washauer. And in this paper, they were able to show, well, of course, the limit, because everyone knows the limit all of a sudden. And they were able to prove that this strategy of starting the box with your number and then following the chain is optimal, or it's as good as any optimal solution. So it's equivalent to all optimal solutions. They proved that it's equivalent to a different game and then showed the solutions are all the same in that other game. And it's super interesting. It is behind a publication paywall, but I will link, link to where it is online below if you want to check it out. And um, that possibly worth a video in its own right. But this, after all, so there you are. It's important that we embrace that mistakes happen and we should be ready to deal with them. And it's not something to fear. You may not have noticed, but in all my videos on my main channel, in the description, as soon as they go live, they already have a correction zone, which starts blank and just says, let me know if you spot any mistakes. And then as mistakes come in, I fill them into that corrections section. So, I mean, I just think it is important that if you spot a mistake in your own video or someone else's, you don't hesitate to point it out in the interest of helping us all embrace and fix these mistakes. Which brings me neatly to... So the probability that all 100 prisoners find their numbers is one half times a half times a half a hundred times, or a half to the power of a hundred. This is equal to point zero 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 thirty zeros and then an eight. That is my friend Derek Muller, and I think what he meant to say is seven. The next digit is a seven, not an eight. One over two to the power of 100 does indeed equal 0 0.30 zeros, but the next digit is not an eight, it's a seven. Then there's an eight, and another eight, another eight, and a, and a six. And yes, that would round up to eight, but if you're stating what the digit is, the digit is a seven. So just thought, thought I'd point that out. Everything cancels out now. We are, everything balances out to zero. Everyone is equal. We can all move on with our lives. Thanks for watching everyone. There's the main channel if you want to get some maths. And there's Veritasium's channel if you want to get direct or reverse direct, which is a very strict definition.